Hello everyone. Apple Music currently as of right now is one of the biggest streaming platforms out there that are available. And I want to kind of break down what the differences are between the Apple Music student plan, the individual plan, and the family plans that Apple Music basically has and to see which one you should actually go ahead and basically buy. Now I will tell you, you cannot go wrong with either one of these. I think they're all very, very good plans for the most part. And there are reasons why you should probably pick up one over the other one for the most part. The big thing to keep in mind here though, for the most part, is to kind of keep that in the back of your head, that if you're a student and getting the $5.99 plan and getting the cheap $5.99 plan is the best option here. Whether you're getting the student plan on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever, if you qualify for it, you should 100% take advantage of it because it really is a very, very good plan for a very cheap price. And for $5.99, it's a very decent option. It matches basically exactly what you're it matches it basically exactly what you're getting inside of the student plan, and it makes so much sense to go and purchase that plan in my personal opinion. So if you're going to go through and buy a plan, please, please, please buy that student plan. If you know you can get it for it, I would just recommend buying it. Now the student and the individual plan are the same. The student plan is $5.99. The individual plan is $10.99. So you are spending $5 more every month for the individual plan over the student plan. And they give you the exact same features. So like I said, basically the main features of these two plans is that you're getting 100 million songs and more than 30,000 expert curated playlists. You can request any track, album, playlist, or station simply by asking Siri or, you know, if you want to type with Siri. You have a 30-day free trial, so one-month free trial. There's no commitment. There's ad-free music all over the place, so it's just ad-free. You don't have to go through and worry about, you know, getting ads or whatever. It's completely ad-free. There's some shows on there. There's some concert exclusives. It's on Apple devices, but it's also available on some other devices too. You know, it's available on other supported devices. You have spatial audio with Dolby Atmos. You have the full catalog and lossless audio. You have this new Apple Music Sing feature, which is really cool. You can download up to 100,000 songs into your library, and you can access your entire library from any device and listen online or offline, which is really cool. And you can see what your friends are listening to as well, which is actually really, really cool. So with those two plans, a student and individual plan, they're exactly the same, and you're getting basically the same type of feature set between both. Now, on the family plan, you're getting all those features that I listed, but it is $6 more. So it goes from $10.99 to $16.99. So for basically $17 a month, what you're getting on top of everything that I just listed before is that you're getting unlimited access for up to six people. So if you have a family of six or you have six siblings or you have six cousins or whatever, and you can use one account, you can get, you know, you can pay for this particular membership and you can get unlimited access for up to six people, which is actually very, very big. And having that type of capability in and of itself is a very, very cool thing. That is a really big way to save a bunch of money rather than going through and purchasing separate, you know, separate Apple music plans. You can just buy this plan and basically get all the Apple Music that you want, basically. So that is a very big thing, and you can get it up to six people, which is really cool. Now, on top of that, you can set up your personal music library for each family member. So for each family member that you basically have, you can go in through and just basically create a music library for each one of those, which again is very cool. And then you can have personalized recommendations for each family member, you know, as well. So that's another really cool thing. You can go ahead and take advantage of that as well. And that's another really cool thing going on here too. So overall, what I'll definitely tell you is, is that if you have a family, going for the family plan makes the most amount of sense. It's just like such a no-brainer. And that's the one I'd recommend most people to buy. Now, the student and individual plans are very, very good too. If you are able to swing for the student plan, I'd recommend buying it. Other than that, I'd recommend just going for the individual plan. It's still very, very good. But if you're a student and you qualify for it, get the student plan. But the family plan is also probably the next best thing in my personal opinion. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well then.